Hey everyone, Shinetsu here. It's time for the second episode of Sergeant Hale. This one I'm going to do a little differently. Let's get started with the Shonen edition of Sergeant Hale. Okay, the first anime manga on our list is FMA or Full Metal Alchemist. This is a really good series. As some of you may know, the anime is completely different from the manga. Full Metal Alchemist, the anime is completely different and then they made Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which follows the storyline of the manga. I've never seen either of them, so I can't really say about them, but I can say the manga is really, really good. I love the art style. It's a really unique story. Line. Next up we have one of my favorite shonens of all time and that's Gintama. The manga and anime are probably equal in how good they are. I think with Gintama it's either you love it or you hate it. I watched the first episode and I absolutely loved it. You have to watch Gintama with an open mind. I really love the artwork. It's really unique. And also the anime has some of the best opening animations and opening songs. And some episodes are just really out there and strange. But there are other times when Gintama is extremely serious and sad. It's such a, a bizarre anime. It really is. At least give it a chance because I think you'll enjoy it. Like I said, you either love it or you hate it. Next we have Mare. From what I have read of the manga and from what I've seen in the anime, it's so good. It's funny. It's crazy. It has a more of a cartoony type art style to it, but it's definitely a good manga. And next we have Bleach, and I'm pretty sure all of you know about Bleach by now. I mean, it's one of the big top three shonens out there. Bleach is good. I kind of have a thing for Bleach. I absolutely adore Bleach artwork. That's one of the reasons I like Bleach so much, and I love the characters of Bleach so much. Apparently, Bleach is entering its final arc. It's coming, actually coming to an end, which is kind of weird, but I think it should come to an end because Kubo, honestly, is running out of ideas. And Bleach also has two character books, Color Bleach and another one. I can't remember the name. If I had to choose between the two, of the character books, I would definitely choose Color Bleach because Color Bleach is like the other one and then some. And also there are three Bleach movies, Memories of Nobody, Diamond is Rebellion, and then Fade to Black. They're all good, but my favorite is Fade to Black. Next is Naruto, and I don't even think I really have to say anything about Naruto because who doesn't know what Naruto is? I mean, really. Naruto has a really good storyline. Some people may think it's overrated, but I like Naruto. I think Naruto's story is kind of better than Bleach's. Next up, we have another pretty well-known series, and that's Death Note. It's actually a non fire Shonen. It's really like in-depth and thought, but it's published by Shonen Jump, so I'm gonna put it in the Shonen category. Death Note is one of the greatest plot-wise anime manga that have ever existed. I actually like the anime better. I think the anime kind of flows better, and I just like seeing the story animated. He has a really unique kind of realistic art style. I can't say that I'm that crazy about the art style. It also has a character book, which is a 13th volume in the series. Basically, it just says like the characters and what they are. If you're collecting them, you definitely want to get that character book. Next Next up we are Rosaria plus Vampire and I absolutely love this anime and manga. I've only read two volumes of the manga but I know the manga is longer than the anime. I really love this series. It's just really funny and it's great to watch and I absolutely love the artwork in the manga. The manga has gotten so much better from volume 1 to his newest volume. His artwork is beautiful. It's kind of realistic but it's still manga-ish. His artwork is stunning. Next up we have D. Grayman which is another one of my favorite shonens of all time. D. Grayman's storyline is amazing. The anime is so good. You not get bored. There are no boring filler arcs. The filler episodes that there are are really funny. Duke Raymond has exceptionally good art. I love the artwork. The manga's artwork gets better over time and her art style really changes. I kind of like it and kind of don't. The Raymond was actually the anime manga that made me want to be a manga as I've said in the past. I actually drew my first ever fan art of Alan. It was so long ago. It was when I was in like ninth grade. I had a notebook full of fan fictions. So Duke Raymond is actually the first anime that I ever got really obsessed with. Next up we have Soul Eater, and I can't say much about it because I've only read the first three volumes, but based on the first three volumes of the manga, I really, really like this series. The artwork is a little cartoony for me, but there's a certain style to it that I kinda like. It's definitely a great series, and it's really unique. I love unique storylines. Next up we have Zombie Powder, which is done by the same person who does Bleach, Taikubo, and it's only four volumes long because he quit it, so the storyline gets cut off and you do not get very deep into it, but for the four volumes it is, it's really good. It has like Kubo's original art style, which is more like harsh edges. It's not as smooth. It has good characters. It's funny. It's got action. Now we come to our very last anime manga, and that is Fairy Tale. I have only read like four volumes of the manga, and I've only seen maybe two or three episodes of the anime, but I know it's good based off of that. It's a good manga and anime. I can't say too much about it since I haven't really read that much. I like the art style. It's more of a cartoony type, which I'm not a big fan of, but I do like the art style. And with that, we come to the end of Sergeant Hammer episode 2 Shonen Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed it and tell me what you think below and the next episode of Structure Ham will come someday, someday in the future. Bye everyone, have a great day and bye!